Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Mr. Prepper. This will be part 14 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we passed out in the desert, but we are back. We are back. We just need to turn all of our... Oh, oh. Okay, we're, we're figuring it out. Ah, uh, we're having a blackout. That's right. So we, uh, we don't have any power. Thankfully, we don't need power for the workbench. Uh, because we have a bit of disassembling to do. So yeah, we passed out in the last one, so we have, like, a quarter less preparedness. Which is not great, but not the end of the world either. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of disassembly this episode Anyway, um, we have some warm clothes. Craft those. Wow, they take a fair while. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to disassemble that. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. All this stuff we got from the desert needs to go. Uh, fabrics, yeah. Rip them apart. Nice. Uh, telephone. Cell phone, telephone. They have some rubies and all the good stuff. So we're going to rest now. We'll have a quick nap. And we will... Yeah, so let's talk to Joe. Open the letter from the minimal, I'll do that in a sec. Let's check out location for observer. Repair the ropeway. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to do. And who knows when we're going to do it. Uh, right, Miniman's letter. Dear Mr. Prepper, I'm afraid we are both in trouble. Despite my precautions, there is a certain agent who has took interest in me and my recent investigations. If he keeps snooping around, he might also get to you eventually. But here's how you can help. You could put the agent in trouble so he gets off our backs. This agent lives nearby under the name of James Fitzpatrick. Plan him an illegal item and I'll denounce him to the agency. It would be best if it was not simply illegal, but illegal with a flair, to truly impress other agents. I have a feeling the postman would be willing to help with this. He's also not a fan of the agency. Remember, Mr. Prepper, it's for our safety. Our ambitions are too grand to be thwarted by some petty agents. Um, so who do I... send this to? Or do I need to talk to the postman? I guess I do. I'll sell all that. Boom. We'll sell... Oh, wow, Ruby's worth 52. Good lord, that's a lot. Uh, but nevertheless, we will put some gasoline away. Uh, we do have some green cups which you can pull apart. Good lord. Did not like that. Uh, yes, yeah, right, green cups. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what happened there. Really freaked out. Uh, we have the warm clothes. We can equip those now. Oh, it just gives us a nice coat. That's fun. Cool. Uh, we have tons of bullets. We have a lot of food now. Which uh, I think we will... Put in the dryer? Ah, uh, it doesn't have... I thought we might be able to put like stuff in it. Even if it didn't have power and it would just start drying when we got power back. But no... It just does not work at all. Uh, wild meat, that can go in there. Everything else goes in there. Okay, nice. I have the energy bar. That was an interesting one. Uh, cool. That is all sorted. Postman's here. Uh, postman. Uh, find an offensive and illegal item. Gee, I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, you're in Joe's back yet? Ah, oh, he is back yet. Okay. Hey, Prepper. Caught the transmission. 
I have, yes. It's read with a strong Spanish accent. I've written it down, but I can tell you the main points. Hmm. Do it right now. I'm anxious to know. They're basically saying the Brazen Serpent Satellite is a mind control tool. And this indeed would explain a lot of things. <laughs> the waves. I told you, Prepper. Hmm. They also say it causes memory and concentration problems. Oh, and they blame it for some terrorist attacks. This... I don't know, Prepper. I feel... broken. I was afraid of the mind control ways for some time, but I secretly hoped it wasn't true. Now I know for sure, and this thing is circling above us constantly. Did the Mexicans have any... advice for us? <clears throat> uh, they're telling us to revolt or escape to their side. Walk in the park, right? Damn, Prepper. I'm too old and weak to leave this junkyard and take Chupacabra with me. <coughs> oh, sorry. But I know you can outsmart them. Escape from here. Maybe fight from the outside. Please, do it for us. Thanks, Joe. Trust me, I'm doing what I can. <coughs> Cool. Hey Joe, I have an important question. I suspect you know the answer. Could you tell me how to get to the Fort Observer military base? I know it's in the desert somewhere. Oh, Jason, the military secrets now, Prepper, aren't you? I can tell you for sure they ain't got UFOs like in Area 51. I have good intel on that. <clears throat> Some say it's haunted, though. You need to be careful. Haunted? Okay. Uh, I'll try. There might just be something I need out there. Okay, buddy. I can show it to you on the map. So there it is. Long stretch of road from the last place you can use as a supply stash. Which leads to another problem. It's too long to make it in one go before the 3 a.m. knocks me out. <clears throat> You're smart, Prepper. And yes, I'd say it ain't possible unless you find a way to stay awake. Hmm, I might have an idea on how to deal with this. Thank you, Joe. Alright. <coughs> cool. So we need to... What, talk to... What's he about the tea, Jenny? Uh, uh Cool, he's just saying, now nah, we're done. Don't have nothing. Uh, I guess we talked to Jenny about the treatment then, eh? Like special teas or whatever. Jenny! Jenny! My oh, Jenny was outside. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Out the door. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to get to her thing. Her ropeway. <clears throat> have you done what I asked for? No, I haven't. That is fair. Man, I don't know what is going on with the uh, recording today. Bit, uh... I don't know. Bit picky, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to the forest. I just want to see... If I can. So if I travel to Ropeway 4... Is the level, like, there? Because I thought... We didn't have the lever. Yeah, because I don't think I have it. Hmm, this lever must be somewhere... Hey, what'd it say? Yeah, repair. Must be somewhere in the forest. Okay, so it's probably on this level. I guess it's got to be deeper in. I guess. We'll have a quick look, though. Have we got any levers in here? No, no levers at all? Do we search this? Probably, right? Yeah. Massively. Uh, there's a wolf there, but that's okay. We're going to get out of here. Deeper in, that's where we're headed. Always deeper in. Uh, where is... Oh. <laughs> Surprised me a bit. Nice, we got... Ooh, wow. I was going to say we got nibbled a bit, but... 
we are actually nibbled a lot. Uh, hello? Poisoned. Ah, wait it out or sleep it off, sure. Uh, I think we might need to come back later. It, it's getting dark, we don't have a lot of health. It's night time, like, it, everything is wrong. We'll come back first thing in the morning and see what there is to see. Alright, time for bed. Let's get straight to it. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat first. We'll just eat a soup. That'll give us a fair chunk. That way, we're not gonna be starving to death when we get back to get back to the morning. Go! Oh, I I think I really just like stabbed myself in the leg there when I sat down. You hate to see it. Just careful sleeping with your knife, kids. You really want to make sure the blade's pointed away from you. Uh, I might grab a couple of... Maybe I'll grab some soup. Maybe I'll just soup it. Like, because we can equip the thing here. Probably a waste, actually. It's definitely a waste. But, we're heading deeper into the forest. Because apparently the lever is there. I thought we explored the entire forest, but maybe we repaired four and then stopped. Honestly, cannot remember at all. But either way, we're heading deeper in the forest today. <clears throat> Alright, deeper in, no messing around, I want to get all the way. I want to just get as deep into this forest as I can. That wolf, you get the stabbo. Okay, I really just flailed that around. Uh, rat, you are very annoying. Other rat, also annoying. And deeper in. Always in deeper. You know, we have like the warm clothes now, so maybe we can afford to go down into the mines and go and kind of like stay and pay attention rather than just trying to speed run it because we can't really, you know, stay in there too long. All right, so it must nearly be must nearly be deep enough. I think. Nope, nothing in there. I thought we did go in here. God, that's a big stab. Wow, these wolves are just big softies, and we're just knifing them all to death. I thought we did go this this deep. Or did we get to here and we didn't go into the, like, danger, do not cross, you will die, blah, 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 room. Stab. Wow, he took two big hits. Uh, yeah, do we go in here or we just loot it? Yeah, okay, we definitely looted everything in here. Nice, that's, that is fine. I just want to get to my... Get to the depths of my exploration. Nice. Okay, so that's all done there. Perfect. So, I'm going to... Well, stab this right first. Goodbye. Gonna eat. Heal up. We'll probably use the gun. It is just kind of better. And we'll, I guess, attack the thing here. Oh, there's the lever. Did I just forget to grab it? I, I did, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did, because this is where Chupacabra was. Oh my god. Cage. It's for walls. It doesn't work too well. Yeah, okay. That makes sense that we absolutely have been here before. Because... This is where you picked up Chupacabra. 
Okay, so I just forgot to pick up the lever. It happens. It happens. So what do we need? We need 20 plastic and 10 electronics. Okay, we can do that, can't we? Now we have 8 electronics, and we do have 20 plastic. What do we get more electronics from? Uh, I do have money to spare, so we could try and see if we can buy... Anything that will give electronics at all, basically. Or if we can just buy, straight up buy electronics. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Wow, really nothing at all? Wow. Okay. Really thought we'd have some. But I guess not. Just buy all the ammo. 42 bucks. Probably worth it. Uh, is that illegal? Okay, we have enough. I was going to say it's illegal not to have a radio. Computer safe quantity 1. Phone safe quantity 1. Hmm. Where are we going to get some more electronics? I'm actually a bit stumped on that one. So that's glass and plastic. That doesn't really help us. Sergey, Can't get anything out of you. Obviously, the supermarket. That's not going to work. Junkyard. Nah. Bob's house. We can't just buy electronics. Okay. What if we just go into the mine? Because you have warm clothes now, so let's go as deep as possible. And see if we can, like, get to the next bit. Because you have level 5. By memory, we did not get a lot of exploring done here. This is the one that, I guess it's like, gems? With nothing in the mining trolley. That's a bit, bit lame. Ah, that's right. This is the level where we found old mate with his, like, secret pod people or whatever. No, with his, like, people that are staying asleep. Ooh, hello. Hydrogen. Cool. Need that. Can't get here. How oh, would you have a pickaxe? Oh, okay, we have to go this way. Oops. So, wait, should we get a lot of gems here? Are we getting a lot of oil? God. The revolver super shot is really, really effective. Like, way more than I thought. Just being able to go bing, 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 and just shoot 12 times and kill everything in one hit is exactly what we're after. Ah, uh, crap. I forgot to... I forgot to, um... Like, equip weapons I can actually use. Because at the moment, I am running out of ammo. God, if you don't kill them instantly, though... Oh no! I'm having the same bug. Oh, no. Oh, no, he woke up. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my God. Whew. Okay. Okay, so we can get to the deepest level of the mines now. Perfect. 
that is way more important to me than geez like anything else on this trip okay so do buy some extra ammo for this as well so that will probably help so we're gonna be looking for what now like a box I suppose Yep, that's nice. Right, it's got to be a box down here. Oh, more bats. Nice. And I'm out of ammo now. Okay, well the gun's no use then if I'm out of ammo, so... Can I just equip, I don't know, the other knife? Right, we'll start stabbing. Okay, yep. Stab, stab. Ah, crap. Yeah, pickaxe as well. Uh, we have a spare axe. Let's use that instead. Nice. Perfect. God, have we, like, won yet? Or is it just super bat time? Okay. Ooh, a couple of amethyst and some bullets. That is well worth it. All right, we'll just get, just get our boy Prepper, Mr. P as we call him, to uh, head back to the elevator. But I think for the most part, we're nearly done here. Or at least it looks that way. Okay, for one more sort of downwards, downwards elevator trip before we're at the bottom level. That's definitely a piece of gold. Oh no, two more. Nice, the double hit. Pretty damn good. We're gonna have to build that refinery too, actually. Because we're getting a bit of oil now. And I want to make sure we are actually using that. There's no point just sitting on oil. Well, at least there's no point when we can't sell it. Okay, take all. Ugh. So nice having the extra carry weight. That's really super good. We're still not at our carry weight limit. And we have a lot of iron and a bit of... Um... A lot of iron and a bit of, like, other spicy fun stuff. The mystery level. Ooh, mystery level. Alright, let's have a look at the mystery level. It's gonna be the secret... The secret, uh, thing, isn't it? Military base or whatever. Ooh. Question mark. Great. Very informative. I suppose no one knows what's on this level. Maybe it changes every time. What a crazy idea. Oh, interesting. So is this just like a randomly generated one, maybe? So this is just like a... I don't know, like a continuous... Continuous challenge, maybe? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe that's just shit it says on the sign as like a joke. Okay, good. You don't actually have to change weapons. It just automatically mines them. Ooh, that's another amethyst. Don't really care for the iron, but that amethyst. Man, that is very, very tempting. Okay, that does not lead anywhere. Perfect. Tell me more. Yeah, it goes pretty deep, though. Actually, wow, we are at... 20 at the moment. Or nearly, nearly 20 hundred. Just 20 in 24 hour time. Actually, we do need a lot of sleep too. We should probably do that. Oh. I, I don't know what just happened there. Whole game, super freaking out. I don't think it could handle such reckless bats. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, one more. Got him. Uh, we might just see if we can... Oh, actually, there's no point. Hang on. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's oil. There's no real point. We might as well just go back home because we're nearly fallen asleep. Uh, it's night time. Our preparedness is dropping. Let's just get home before we run out of pre preparedness and die. I don't know what happens if you run out of preparedness, but I don't really want to find out. Rather just get home and sleep it off. But anyway, guys, I think that is more or less going to be where we end this episode. We'll just collect some money and, and go to bed. So guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.